All right, let's do this stream thing for a little while. <laughs> How is everybody doing? All right. So, still working on my <clears throat> on my um, art station challenge. Um, and one of the things that I want to do is actually get. In fact, <laughs> right now I'm over a hundred million points. Um, that's a lot, <laughs> but, uh, one of the things I want to do <coughs> is I want to take, I want to create my environment. I want to create my, my base for my piece. Um, See, I'm going to say geometry. I'm going to say delete higher. Actually, might even delete higher here. Okay. I want to use this piece. I think we'll say delete lower as well. I want to use this piece to be able to create um, like some grasses in some places. Got to see if I've got, yeah, I've got enough polygons there. That should be fine. Just gonna come in here and just kind of add in some uh, some masking. This is just gonna be a little bit of you know fun, just some random sort of patches through here. Okay, I'm gonna try to use fiber mesh to be able to to drive this. Uh, to drive this grass. I'm just going to try to do like lighter, um, lighter masking places where I want to have it shorter. It's just kind of a matter of playing right now. I mean, I, I don't really have a specific plan. So it's really just a matter of, you know, kind of tinkering and, and figuring out what it is that I like. We can go ahead and make this brush nice and big. Give it some good tall grass over here. Right, maybe we'll turn on transparent. Maybe that'll be nah. It's ghost. Nah. Let's turn on solo. Turn it on and off when we need it. I'm just coming in through here and just very lightly trying to bring in some idea of grass. And some of this grass, like right here, I just I went and kind of drew through the rock, so I'm just gonna take some of that out. Put in some more. Give me some more, give me some more, give me some more. Get it nice and thick through here. Okay, let's Let's tap it once just to soften it out. Let's try this out just to be able to see kind of what we can get. There should be a grass preset already, I believe. That's interesting. I wish it would just automatically go back into preview mode, but I guess that's just not its. Not its thing. That's some really, really tall grass, and I don't feel like I want it to be that tall. Let's 
let's go through and kind of give it a little bit more. Um, and then we'll say preview again. It's like I like I like the grass, but then when I add in the character, the character is going to be super super small compared to that. So let's go ahead. We'll say modifiers. Let's try taking length down like like a lot. <laughs> take our coverage down a bit too let me see length level leg profile max fibers that's that's one I want to go through and kind of thin it out a little bit hey Navil how you doing Let's see, let's go ahead and say let's scale that. Just trying to play with it, trying to see kind of what it is that I can get out of it. It's like if we were to go ahead and hit render, I'm pretty sure this would not look quite the way that I want. So I'm gonna to have to go through and adjust like segments and play with it quite a bit but I think this is going to start to get a little bit more yeah it's starting to get somewhere <clears throat> I definitely want the the colors to be slightly different so we're gonna go more yellow let's go let's go actually quite a bit more yellow and I actually want this to be Is there a random? Ah, look at that coverage, okay. One of the things I wish that I could go through and do is uh, I think that's kind of working. I just need to add some more in spots like over in here. So right now I'm working on my environment side, the base for my uh, art station challenge piece. Okay. Um, give it really thick shadows in some of these spots kind of thin it out in some others yeah so I'm just trying to, to kind of go through and get this figured out in a way that makes sense for my piece let's go ahead and say preview let's give it some more max fibers let's put it up some Trying to figure out, I need to figure out what's happening with these blades of grass because that looks really, really odd. <coughs> um, let's go ahead and take. Give it less twist. That looks better. I don't know how that got up to got up that high, but by having just a little bit of twist, that kind of works. In fact, we could probably even pull it up to like just you know something a little bit higher. That'll give it some variation, give it some interest. Let's go through and uh, 
Mikel, how you doing, brother? Mi amigo, quiere que te recuerde cuando te queda? O cuánto te queda? Pues si querés. Ocho días son, ¿verdad? Something like that. That's starting to look good. <laughs> 18 hora. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's there's still a long way to go and there's essentially what we're doing. Let me go ahead and save this because I like where it's at. I don't want to lose it. Um <laughs> this thing has over 55 million polys. <laughs> Just checking you out, working myself, watching and learning. Dude, you're the man. I'm just gonna add in some more over here. Just trying to play with this fiber mesh and really give it a little bit of, you know, grassiness. I feel like giving some grass is kinda kind of a good idea, you know, it helps the environment feel a little bit more alive. Try this again. Preview. Yeah, it's looking good. That's looking good. Back over here, though, I still want some more. Give me some more. Give me some more. Give me some more. That's gonna. I'm gonna inverse this. Soften it that way. Hit preview, and I think that's even better. <coughs> Let's give it a little bit of grass kind of coming out by these rocks yeah since this uh, since this version of the of the base that I'm working on is like super low poly it's gonna be a little bit harder to get the mask exactly where I want it but you know, it's it's totally fine something like that add in a little bit more add in a little bit more give it some more all right yeah just gonna have fun with this oops accidentally softened that and I didn't want to There we go, that's feeling much more organic and nice. And let's try for that. <coughs> um, let's take this width profile and just kind of move it up a little bit so it's got more base to it. Length variations, I'm gonna give it a full one just so that it gives it you know, something that feels really organic. Okay, and then I wanna find there is a Oh, let's play with the clumps a little bit. I actually haven't, uh, I haven't tried touching the clumps. Yeah, you know what? We don't need clumps. Uh, what I do want though is I want segments. Whoa, that got immediately so much like heavier. Let's go ahead and take some of that gravity off. there's a way for me to make it feel like it's got hey Ryu how you doing <laughs> I'm doing pretty well I'm doing pretty well I'm just working on my uh, on my art station challenge piece right now working on the base 
which you know here's here's kind of like the central area where the character will be kneeling down to kind of like touching the 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 print um yeah i'm still not entirely sure how i'm going to finish this off but we're gonna we're gonna get something cool okay that's gonna i'm just gonna say accept okay so here are my fibers <clears throat> which i'm going to take with um I'm going to say groom, let's say groom turbulence. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. We'll just say groom brush or the, or we'll get the, uh, oh, that got really strong. Okay, let's go ahead and take the Z intensity like way down. Yeah, I won't worry about grooming this. That's that's, that's going to be too much. Unless I can, yeah, let me see, groom blower. It's like the thing is, is that like the way that the character is going to be posed, he's going to be like kneeling down right here, and <coughs> I want to have. The because uh, like I, I I went ahead and, and posed him in a way that like his scarf and his little bandana thing uh, are kind of blowing a little bit in the wind, and, and I want that to be reflected in the wind, you know, in the grass. move brush and just kind of pull it lightly one thing I'm trying to be really careful of is that I don't lengthen it oh, that got really uh, pushed down didn't it yeah Pablo Munoz keeps trying to push me into fiber mesh, but I am so not good at it. <laughs> That's why we practice. Okay, just give it a little bit of a push there. Give it more of a push in some areas than others. Less push against, you know, the spots that are actually up against the rocks. Kind of push these. And you'll notice that like it's keeping the, the fiber mesh where it's planted. I mean it's not moving it at all. Um, the roots are staying where they're supposed to be. And then everything's just kind of being pulled out, um, pulled away from the roots. So it's it's pretty neat. It's pretty uh, pretty nice little bit of technology there. something like this and that looks like it's all right that looks all right that looks pretty good <coughs> okay and that should that should give me enough of the impression that I'm looking for with like windiness or breeze or something like that let's get a little bit on these
Yes, I will be rendering this in Arnold. In fact, one of the things that I'm trying to uh, figure out, I, I went ahead and I asked the, uh, the 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 host for the state for the uh, challenge, if uh, if it's something that, yeah. You know, so so the rules are. Hold on, give me a second. The rules say that, you know, we, we have, you know, 10 UDIM sets for um, for the character, and then we can have one 4K map for our base. Um, so my my question to the to the host was, are we able to go through and kind of reallocate uh, maps if we wanted to from the uh, from the character to the base uh, you know for the instance that uh, I didn't want to use a full 10 maps for my character it just wasn't necessary I could have done it <laughs> I definitely could have done it um, but you know 4k map stretches quite a long way um, <clears throat> so I didn't really I didn't really bother taking it that far, um, so I'm just waiting to see if if uh, if they'd allow me to go through and use, you know, for instance, a uh, a single, or you know, be able to since I since I only used six maps for my character, if I could use the remaining four maps to kind of reallocate those to environment or you know, things like that, um, yeah. To me, that seems more more useful, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> but yeah, and then and then one of the things that I've been going through and doing is getting my um, getting my different maps prepped in Photoshop so that I can, um, yes, yeah, so I can do physical based right uh, physical based rendering, um, things like that. With the different materials, and get me, getting metallic and and specular and roughness for, oh, sorry, for my different assets, and then yeah, I, it's, it's turning around really great. I'm I'm really excited for how it'll all come together. Let me see. I am going to grab. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to call that good. <coughs> I want to take this, turn it off, and then this is the one that has like a bajillion polys to it. <laughs> you can see, I, I've got nine subdivisions that takes me up to over five, uh, 50, 50 million polygons. Such a heavy mesh, but yeah, I needed it. You know, it's, it's just what it was to be able to get the the geometry in there it was a simple disk that i uh used in in maya i created it in maya so so that's where it came from uh and then i just went ahead and did a bunch of sculpting to, to be able to get the cool effects i think it works really nicely um so yeah i'm hoping that this will work out really really well let me see. I am going to take. Let's go to the fibers. I'm actually going to move these above ground. <laughs> okay, let's do something like this. Grass. And then I want to say export group. Export. Uh, just because. So the reason I used Maya and not ZBrush for the disk is just because that's uh, that's where I was working at the time. So it's just it just made sense to me. Um, oh, you know what? I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Let me see. I'll keep it. I'll keep this a little bit easier. Let's let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to say. Uh, UV master will say work on clone and there's my grass look how beautiful that is oh my goodness <laughs> okay um, let's go ahead say unwrap 
and yeah, look at that, over 2,000 uh, blades of grass there. So really, I mean, I'm not going to worry about doing any kind of organizing with these uh, blades of grass. I'm just going to let ZBrush do its thing, pack all these blades of grass into a single um, to a single UDIM square. And then, uh, and then I'll figure out going through and uh, actually um, arranging them on my yeah, on my on my map a little bit better, so that, that way I can. <laughs> this is going to take a minute, isn't it? Um, so that way I can go ahead and get my textures pulled out. That way I can get my yeah get my textures pulled out really. Uh, I'm really excited for how this is going to go. I'm, I'm, it's, we're down to the final, you know, just over a week left in, uh, in the competition, in the, in the challenge. Um, and it's really exciting me. It's really exciting to me to, uh, to get to this sort of stage where everything's starting to, to come together. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's neat. Up to 1,200 polygroup unwraps. One of the things I do really appreciate, though, about ZBrush and doing unwraps in ZBrush and things like that is that you can at least see how far it's gone. Uh, there's at least a progress bar that's pretty dependable. Uh, inside of Maya, <laughs> not as much. <laughs> oh, well. Getting closer. Getting closer. 1900. Boom. Okay, 1900. So now we've just got, you know, under 200 left. Oh. It's kind of cool seeing like orange grass, though. Kind of like it. <laughs> I wouldn't like it if that's what my yard looked like, but, you know, that, you know, that's saying that oh, an error occurred during the process. How dare you? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. For real? I just waited all that time. Come on. Uh, let's turn off symmetry. Here's what we'll do. I'm going to say and it might take a whole lot longer, but we're going to at least have the option, you know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, pull this up. Let's get rid of grass. And then we got the CL grass right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try running that. Your brother can't say hello today. What does that mean? Are you not subscribed anymore? <laughs> well, then you are a good brother for having subscribed in the first place. <laughs> Someone gifted you the sub. Was it him? <laughs> Was it your brother? <laughs> uh, let me see. Let's, I'm going to say unwrap and I'm just gonna let that run and I'm gonna go over into into Maya okay let's come over here we'll say file import let's grab this we'll say CL grass in fact, it might be a good idea just to do it by itself. I mean, since it's since this is such a heavy scene, but oh man, that these sorts of things add so much life and detail. Not just because it's grass. 
galaxy. We're going to say UVs. We will say planar. Um, yeah, sure. That works. Project. Where are my UVs? I just laid them out. <laughs> Go through and hit unfold and you know what? Instead of just hitting unfold, let's go through and say unfold, use the option box, iterations. I'm gonna do just one. Apply and close. We'll check on ZBrush, see how it's doing. It's moving. It's doing it. So hopefully it's really actually doing it. <laughs> One of the things that if this doesn't work, what I might do is go back over into Maya, export the uh, the pieces with the UV projection, and then go ahead and do UV master unwrap uh, with the uh, existing UV seams as it has it listed here. So I'm hoping that this will just work and that way I can just use that and then uh, move it over. Um, but yeah, I'm at least trying to come up with like different, uh, different plans, different things. Different ways of doing the same thing. Do, 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 do. An error occurred in the process. Well, shoot. Well, this one finished up. Go ahead and select those. We'll say layout UV. And let's just go in here, let's just do our iterations. That way we can, packing iterations, we'll just say one. Eh, let's say two. Okay, layout UVs. And hopefully this will go fairly quickly. I mean, this mesh in particular is not super dense. I mean, there are a lot of pieces. There are a lot of pieces and there are a lot of um, points. So I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it will be a little bit more difficult than, uh, than I'm thinking. Turn up my mic. <laughs> I am speaking a little bit more quietly, though. So hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. It's just kind of the... Uh, yeah. That's all. I'm just going to leave it there. I just don't want to turn up my volume. <laughs> you lazy, lazy boy. <laughs> See if it makes anybody yawn. <sighs> Is it working? Did anybody yawn? It's almost done, it's almost done. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. You really had to fight it. Oh, oh my goodness. You really had to fight it? <laughs> Come on, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs>
Come on, Gavin. <laughs> Did I get you that time? <laughs> This <laughs> is laughing, so it made it easy to resist. Jerk. <laughs> Tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. I yawned and cried. I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> um, paste you these. Wait, so fiber mesh has its own UVs? Okay, I've got to I've got to learn about this then. So wait, preferences. Let's try this. Preferences. If anybody already knows how to do the uh, fiber mesh stuff. Hmm, three D mouse. I'd be interested in trying one of those out. It'd be kind of interesting. Maybe it worked then. Did it work? Texture map, create, yeah, new from polypaint. Look at that, it worked. And you can see it's, it looks really interesting the way that the map turned out. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that worked then. <clears throat> okay, so what I want to do, I want to come over to this ground extension. They can keep up. Okay, so super, super dense, right? All right, let's do this. Geometry. I want to go down, and I want to possibly get rid of my last couple of uh, subdivision levels. This is going to be a heavy piece, but I think that it's going to be worth it to have it be a little bit heavier. In fact, it may even be worth it to try. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. Let's go. Let's go ahead. I'm going to boost this all the way up to the top subdivision level. We're going to delete lower and we're going to do Z remesh and see if that uh, does what I want. <laughs> okay, delete lower. Look at how dense that is. Holy polygon. Wow. Cool. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to take this. Eh, it looks kind of symmetrical right there. So pretty. Um, we're going to take this and I am going to say. Z remesher. <laughs> I was like, what am I looking for? Let's <laughs> uh, see if we can get it down to 5,000 polygons and see if that works at all for us. Let's say I'm going to hold Alt and hit Z remesher. 
Let's see what he gives us. I suspect it'll give us something somewhat respectable. But I'm not sure how much of the uh, how much of the patterns and swirls and everything will be included in there. Um, that's kind of the the main thing that I want is to have you know some of the main flows of these of these uh, pieces that are running through here. So I'm curious to see how ZBrush handles it. something but I don't have any money but I don't have any money demonetized <laughs> I think it's working right <laughs> should be should be should be should be 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 Ooh, somebody's, uh, is that Pablo streaming on Pixelogic right now? Looks like. And Pablo's got, like, this funny little Cupid creature that he's doing right now on the uh, Pixelogic stream, which that's kind of fun. We've been going for 43 minutes so far. It's 4 o'clock. Um, I don't want to be on past 5. So if ZBrush could be so kind as to hurry up. watched some three below and we're gonna have to check it out <laughs> so you got past the first uh 20 minutes of the first episode i'll give it a shot it's still on netflix correct yeah i'll have to i'll have to give it a shot My goodness, it's going through that whole progress bar again. <coughs> uh, it's going to be a little while. What, what should we talk about? What should we talk about? I'd totally turn on the uh, the thing if that was uh, if that was something that I was legally allowed to do. <laughs> Be able to go through and uh, watch Netflix on stream while I wait because that makes things so much easier. <laughs> but whatever. Um. Goal setting versus habit setting. Wow. Sure is taking a while. And of course, I mean, it's going through and trying to condense or you know make a make an edge flow for 50 million polygons so it's like uh, it's got a lot to think about <laughs> and the file as a whole right now it's over 100 million polygons which that's a lot that is a lot and i'm sure that if i were to leave this and come back to it in like an hour it would be totally done but i'm yeah, I, I don't want to have to come back to it Here's what I'll do. I'm going to start working on 
putting together you know, since we have uh, since we have these things here. Okay, so we've got this stuff. I want to take these blades of grass and um, looks like we're going to need more RAM. We're going to need more of a lot of stuff. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> It'd be really nice if that was a possibility, you know, get a, uh, because I mean, I'm, I'm working on 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um. Hmm. Well, that was a real one there, Gavin. <laughs> um. And then, uh, yeah. So beyond beyond that, I mean, I've got a pretty decent, <clears throat> a pretty decent graphics card. Um. I don't know how many cores I've got in my uh, in my Intel Core i7 seventh generation chip, but um, yeah, there's just some, you know, everyone has their wishes, right? Everyone has dreams, aspirations. Let's go ahead and let's take this. We'll unhide our posed geo, bring our character in. So now we can see what everything looks like, you know, put together. Okay, it's coming along, right? Okay, I am going to say, I mean, let's see, our character, I think everything should be, uh, should be set. Here, let's go ahead and control save that because we ought to <laughs> and then uh, oh man that sounds like a dream Mike Pavlovich set up with 128 gigabytes and Ryzen 32 cores man so that sounds insane. That sounds absolutely insane. I want to grab these. Yep, with. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to right click. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to do that yet. I'm going to wait until I get my other uh, version of the character in here. Let's go ahead and we'll hide these things. I mean, I'm going to get rid of what I don't need. I've got these pebbles in here. I used uh, procedural means to be able to get these, uh, these pebbles kind of scattered all over the place. Um, So if I can get this to start to cooperate, cooperate. Oh dear, I hate that. I hate that view method. It's like, what is it even good for? That's going super slow. Everything else is going super slow. Everything except for me. It's like, uh. <sighs> 
someday it'll all be good. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. See if it'll let me get over and select my... Oh, there we go. Now it's set to... Okay. Hopefully it stays like that. Please. Okay, let's delete this if it'll let me. Okay. Orale. gonna have to create like a uh, an alembic of these uh, of these pieces bring those in okay let's do this I'm going to say cash we could all use a little bit more cash uh, looks like I need to turn it on Windows, uh, not settings, preferences. Uh, yeah, plugin manager. It's like, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? ABC export, auto load. Alembic cache export selected to Alembic. Okay, actually, let's let's do this. I'm going to say grab that or grab this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say assign new material shader AI standard surface. I'm going to take the posed geo, say control H, we'll grab this environment geo. Export selection to Alembic. Okay, current frame. Environment Geo. UV right. Uh, and namespaces. I don't. I don't know. I'll leave the namespace thing alone. Um, anything to do with the UVs, though. I want to make sure that, that stays. I don't know if there's anything else that I'm going to need for that, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And let's go ahead and put it in the right folder. Okay. So let's do this. We're going to say cache, Alembic cache, <coughs> import Alembic. 
Or maybe we can reference the Alembic. Let's try it just for the sake of saying hello. Okay, environment, geo, ABC. Now this should be a lot easier to, to work with, in theory. Should be. Okay. Mysterious footprint. That only kind of looks like a footprint because I didn't design it. <laughs> I kind of just went through and created it instead of actually thinking about it. say save I still technically have the environment group in there uh, so what I'm going to do is now that I have this saved well once I have it saved I'll go ahead and I'll delete the old environment group and I'll just keep the uh, the reference to Lembic Control Shift S so we can get a new version. We'll just go ahead and underscore O2. Make sure it's going to the right folder. The idea is to have his vehicle kind of, you know, just posted, posted, parked right over here. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'll ever, if I'll actually include it or if I'll go through and I'll just take rocks and just kind of like make like a, uh, you know, some, some rocks kind of disappearing off into the distance. Um, So many kids or was that an was that a siren? I can't tell. <laughs> um Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and say import. And I went to import guy UVs continue. Oh, he's below ground. How about that? <laughs> Let me see. Make sure we grab all these things. We'll say Control G, and then I want to. Oops. A ver. Uh, zebra shortcuts. Um, D, V, yes, uh, February 28th, it'd be, it would be the deadline for the no spare time challenge. Yeah. For, for oversized. Yeah. Oh, here, let's go ahead and turn that on. that uh, control one to bring everything back this uh, this disk from group one we can turn that off 
let's go ahead and hit hide. And so, I mean, right now we've got our character, we've got our character posed. What I want to do is I want to take the character and I want to, um, uh, he should have his material applied, which uh, I guess he does indeed, actually. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm going to grab our character. I'm going to say, right click, assign existing material. Let's grab the UVs mat. And then let's take our unposed character, hide him. This rock is a little in the way, <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, let's see, tool settings. Let's go back to uh, my classic tool settings. All right, let's go soft selection, change it back to surface. It's like I was saying earlier, um, the procedural placement of these pieces, um, it put everything just kind of in a, in fact, I think I went through and actually fixed it manually inside of ZBrush, but I'll have to wait and see. Um, okay, so we've got this. Let's go ahead and hit six just to be able to see things with the, material, with the uh, textures applied. Wonder what Pixlogic's going to release tomorrow. Definitely not peel UV. I wish. I wish. I have been asking them for that for years now. I mean, the lot that when I first heard about peel UV, it was 2016, uh, 2016, 2017, something like that. Um, and I've been bugging them about it ever since. <laughs> I still don't have it. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna close my mash editor. I don't need that open. Um, let me see. Okay, we're gonna say assign existing material. Uh, assign this material. So the textures for a lot of these things are not going to be perfect, but it's going to be probably enough for what I need. Sign existing material, we'll say this one right here, and this should line up perfectly with its own textures, so it should. Unless I unless I named my textures poorly. D one thousand seven. Yeah, I mean, it should be that should be just fine. That should be fine. Uh. Huh. Did it lose the UVs? I'm a little bit bothered by that if that's the case. What is 
is happening here? Oh, that's the uh, that's the Z remesh. Oh, that is miserable. Okay, so I think I think what would work so much better instead of doing Z remesher on this, I think it would be better would would be better <laughs> to go through and do decimation master. Okay, so I'm going to take this down to yeah, I'm going to take it down to one million. We're just we're just going to do that. I think that that looks good. So we'll hit custom. And this should be a lot better. Um, just decimating it. We don't need to have something that's, you know, like insanely, you know, all quads and everything like that since it's rock. Um, and it's not going to deform. It's not going to whatever, right? So I'm just going to worry about getting this decimated, uh, get UVs created for it, and then we'll go ahead and uh, and worry about the rest <laughs> which means that I'll probably go ahead and take this uh, oh, so we'll, we'll, we'll work on a clone export that send it over into actually maybe we'll just do our UVs and then send it over into Maya because it should be a little bit quicker to do it that way and then uh, in Maya we'll set the UVs to be in the location that they need to be in <coughs> um set that so that I can't click on it anymore okay, let's see I need to do some uh, some better texture work for those rocks that that texture is not really gonna work for me I don't think It's okay. That's all in the works. That is all in the works. Whew. A little bit tired. A little bit tired. Let's see if it'll... It's still analyzing the mesh, it looks like. Yeah, it's got a long way to go for that. Uh, let's do a test render of this. Let's let's check it out and kind of see how... Oh, I don't want that over there. Get the window to be a little bit more square to better match what's uh, happening in the camera. And then uh, we'll wait. Kind of see how this goes. Just going through and converting the textures. Uh, and actually, I might go ahead and take that uh, that sky dome light, make it so that it's visible in camera. So that way, it's that way it's at least helpful. <laughs> My guess is that it's going to make things a little bit too blue for what I'm wanting right now. So I think I might have to go ahead and uh... oh, look at that! You can see the grass in the background there. <laughs> so pretty.
so far in the very least the colors looking good the um, the environment light definitely seems to be creating a little bit too much light though um, so I think I need to just go through and control that a little bit better uh, and it looks like I don't have a whole lot of other things going into this yet like uh, I, I don't think I have I don't think I have my my PBR stuff um, plugged in I don't think I have subsurface scattering although I might I might be wrong to wait and see but yeah, so far, so far it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm debating whether or not to just cancel the render though, because it's taking forever. Uh, I did go through at one point and try to figure out how to do uh, GPU-based rendering uh, rather than CPU-based rendering, like it's doing right now. And oh my goodness, it was a pain in the butt. ZBrush, uh, not ZBrush, Maya couldn't handle it. Um, totally crashed on me drove me nuts <clears throat> okay it looks like it is doing subsurface scattering but yeah my other maps are definitely not they don't seem to be working the way that I want I'll let it run through It's still computing, but this is usually the uh, the stage that comes after having gone through and actually uh, processed everything. So maybe it's maybe it's on a good maybe it's on a good leg right here. Yeah, someday I'll have like an insanely awesome computer that I'll be able to just render like butter, <laughs> you know? For right now, for right now, I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. Does anybody know anything about NFT? I forget what it stands for. Um, but essentially, like, you know, selling artwork online and things like that. Does anybody have any experience with it? Either selling or buying? one of the things that uh, that I've been I guess one of the things that I'd heard of recently was yeah, just, just NFT and using that to be able to essentially sell like a digital original copy um, and being able to make money as a digital artist in that sort of way now I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how profitable that is I don't know how yeah I don't know I don't know it's, it's just one of those things that's kind of uh, kind of tricky to me uh, so I'm, I'm not sure exactly how that works or if it's even worth diving into but uh you know, I mean, I'm I'm in, I'm interested. I'm intrigued. It's something that I'm kind of checking out a little bit, sort of. <laughs> Ooh, the render, the render is done. I'm gonna go 
ahead and hit save on that. Let's go ahead and say save image. JPEG, come down to progress, we'll put 9A. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to go through and make some bookmarks. Uh, you know what? Before we do that, let's go over and we'll do. Um, let's go to Windows. Where's the namespace editor? General editors, namespace editor. Ah, oh, I didn't bring in any namespace editors. That's, or namespaces, that's that's interesting. Okay. Because I keep running into these, uh, these issues where I'm seeing these extra names and I'm just curious, like where in the world is it coming from? <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so we've got this, and this is looking cool. So yeah, bookmarks. We'll say render right. Mark, call this render left. And let me see. Try to get this as much of a worm's eye view as I can. Something like that feels kind of cool, feels kind of compelling. New bookmark. Worm's eye right, I guess. Let's go ahead and do kind of bird's eye sort of uh, sort of view here. Bookmarks, edit bookmarks, new bookmark, bird's eye right. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to go ahead and turn off this dome here and see kind of how the stream keeps freezing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Mikhail. Yeah, dude, it's it's so much fun so far. And I think that it's definitely got a lot of potential to be something awesome. I just need to go through and make sure that my uh, that I get all my environment pieces kind of pulled in nicely and, and hooked up right and things like that. Um, let me see. I want I do want to test this uh, let's go let's go back actually. Bookmarks. Uh, render right, 
just to be able to test what it looks like without the environment light. Um, so we can go ahead and we can you know scrub between the two. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. This last one took six minutes, so I suspect this one will take about the same amount of time, maybe. <laughs> we'll have to see what, what finishes first, the uh, Decimation Master or the rendering. <laughs> Here it goes. One of the things that I thought of story-wise for this was going through and taking <clears throat> taking my lights and huh, interesting. Okay, right, so far it looks like. It looks like it's got a long way to go. <laughs> There's a lot to do. Um, okay, so one of the things I had thought of was, um, you know what? I lost track of what I was going to say. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I totally lost what I was going to say. Dang it. It might be worth it for me to go through and actually take. Yeah, I don't know. So, some of these materials are working quite well. It looks like. So if if you look at like the knee pads, the knee pads look like they're working really well. It looks like there's a lot of adjustment ad adjusting that I need to do on um, on the boots because it's getting too glossy. Uh, so I'm going to have to adjust my specular levels. I'm going to have to adjust my roughness levels. Um, but the knee pads look like they're actually working. So I wonder if the... Uh, I wonder what's going on. So maybe I'll go ahead and after this render is done, I'll go ahead and look at the, what's it called? Um, I'll look at the hypershade and try to figure out what's going on. So hopefully I'll be able to get things working in a more predictable sort of way. Yeah, look at that, the skin's super glossy. <coughs> My masks are definitely not working. Um, You know, in, 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 unless they are, in which case I did it really, really wrong. Um, so I'm going to have to check it out certainly here in just a minute. actually wonder if there isn't some sort of um, subsurface scattering going to other <clears throat> other pieces that I don't want them to go to <laughs> okay let's go ahead I'm going to hit store so that way I can keep it stored. Yeah, I mean, you can see it definitely did something turning that environment light off, but. Uh... Okay. Um, 
yeah, I'm not going to worry about uh, going through and re-rendering or anything like that. But what I will do, let's go back to Maya Classic. Let's open up this uh, hyper shade. I'm going to start working on kind of hooking things up, making sure that things are working properly. Graph the network. Let's rename this to Guy Matt. Okay. <clears throat> so subsurface scattering is plugged in, but it looks like it's plugged in as actually let's let's go ahead and before I make a judgment, let's actually go in and check it out just to make sure. Um subsurface weight. Okay, so it is pulling it in as a UDIM, which is great. That's what I want. Okay. Base color. Same thing. <clears throat> the masks change that to raw you see there's a huge change in how how this behaves just changing it from srgb to raw there it goes Definitely much, much more specularity there than I think I want. So I think I might need to go into my texture and actually uh, break up that specular highlight. It's just, it's too constant, it's too consistent. Okay, but at least it's working, so yay. Okay, and then I have emissive. Um, I have an emissive map, which is really just a single map for uh, the little shoes. The shoes have like this uh, have like this little light disc that I had made, um, and it, I don't know. I, I don't know if it'll work or not. The way that I hope to see it work. I might need to actually do quite a bit. You see this like this like disc back here. Um, there's it's intended to be emissive. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see kind of how how well that works. Um, subsurface scattering what was the other one I wanted. Normals. I want my normals. I don't have my normals put in yet. Okay, so let's do this. Geometry. Bump mapping. Go into the file. Do 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 do. Okay, let me see. This is one that we'll have to actually test because normal maps are kind of tricky when you bring them out of ZRush. <coughs> okay. Open. Right. Color space from sRGB to raw. And then uh, bump. Oh, oh, shoot. Let's. UDIM. And this should change it automatically. Change the naming. There we go. Okay, so we've got that, and that's good. We've got diffuse, we've got subsurface, which should be good. Um, we've got, I think we've got everything except for this uh, this uh, this normal map thing. I got to come in here and actually change the. Uh, right here use as tangent space normals okay so we've got that the 
the fuse is good, the, ma the mask is what I want to go through and kind of generate the preview on again. And hopefully that'll work. <laughs> You, you ask a question, then you step away. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> You're just like Mike. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it is poly paint. And actually, I used the poly paint to be able to get my other maps. Uh, so really, it's all just Photoshop. It's not working quite the way that I had hoped. So we're going to have to do like a little bit of a render to, to test it out. Um, Let's try it. Render right. And actually, let's go through. I'm gonna maybe hide this uh, this light up here if it lets me. <laughs> select tool. Select an object. Ninety nine percent selected. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, not enough memory for um, my decimation master. That's really rather unfortunate. <laughs> okay. So that's reconstructed, so that's down quite a bit more. So I'm going to say delete higher, and now we can try this again. Just because we can. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead. I'm going to actually, let's take this down to 500 so that it takes it to like 500,000, hopefully. And then uh, let's move back over into Maya. Yeah, lots of back and forth. <laughs> that's just how it goes. It looks like I might have had another uh, another skip in the stream, so hopefully it wasn't too bad. Hopefully it wasn't bad at all. Really drives me nuts the way that rendering treats me sometimes. Um, come on. <laughs> I can't remember if this is area light one or two, so I guess maybe it's one. There we go. <coughs> okay, let's try this again. Bookmarks. Um, uh, render right. Again, the rocks aren't going to be quite right, but it should be enough for us to to get a little bit of an idea of what's happening with the character. And see if the maps are happening at all, if the maps are helping. Um, It's starting. It's starting.
Yeah, the subsurface scattering just feels really strong. So what I might do, I might go ahead and actually um, I don't know. I might I might have to go through and really adjust that so that it's less intense. Because right now it's making like it's 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 going into the body way too much. Um, Oh, and I didn't even I didn't even see your other question there, Indy. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm doing all right. Um, you know, just doing. <laughs> um, lots of uh, lots of kind of stuff going on. Just little things, I guess. But no, I mean, holding on, moving on, working on. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of uh, a lot of skipping happening in my in my stream. My internet must have been just terrible today. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Yeah, I, I. If anyone here is familiar with Los Angeles internet, I mean, you'll know just how terrible it is. <laughs> but you know, that's just kind of part of life, I guess. Got to deal with the terrible, terrible internet. finished okay I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the light that I have left and I'm just going to kind of blow it up a little bit take the exposure up to 10 uh, I won't render it again yet <laughs> just because um, so yeah we'll let that go and then I think what I'm going to do, <laughs> what I think I'm going to do, is cry. Just cry. I'll just cry. That's all. <laughs> um, one of the things that I have in the moment is well I mean I've got I've got all these different little rocks here and I can't really 
Um, I don't know. I can't go through and give them all like individual. <coughs> Good grief. Uh, give them all individual UVs. Um, they're all sharing UVs. They're all instances of the same mesh. They're all, you know, really, uh, just really kind of simple. I'm hoping that it'll all kind of just work nicely and, and look right once I have the um, once I have the the maps all worked out once I have the yeah because I mean that's that, that's just that's just too intense. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Let's let's save this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it's five o'clock now, so I'm gonna say I'm just gonna say good night for now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, it, let me see. It is Monday. This Friday. I don't know, I guess I did I did ZBrush Live this past Friday, is that right? What did I work on? What did I work on on Friday? I can't even remember. That is so funny. Um Let me see. I've got to. I've got to find this because. This might be important. <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically, I think I should have streamed this past. Friday. But what did I do? I can't even remember. Did I forget to stream? I didn't, right? Were any of you there? over to playlists I feel like I'm insanely lost right now which is weird because I never get lost <laughs> yeah I must have been doing something with my that's right I'd started uh, I had gone through and worked on some textures and then I had worked on uh, starting the posing but then I finished the posing of this character on my own stream. That's right. I remember now. <laughs> I remember now. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye for now. Uh, thank you guys for coming and having fun. And hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't too much boring, like sitting and waiting around. Um, I did try to, you know, have some fun and and uh, play with some fiber mesh and stuff like that. I think I might have also played with that um, sculpting the base some. Oh, and there we go. There's that decimated piece that we can now use as our base for. In fact, I might even decimate that even further. But um. You know, we can use this now. Let's see how far we can take it before I say absolutely good night, you know? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it looks like we can probably take it all the way down to 20,000 
polygons, which will be a huge relief when it comes to actually bringing it into Maya. So, <laughs> you know, we do this, and then we've got you know, turn on solo or turn off solo rather. Okay, and then we'll say project. Oh, we're gonna have to go ahead and say uh, add some resolution to this to to really make it so that it can work. Let's start by saying color. We'll say project all, just so that way it's not distracting. Uh, I'm curious why that's all misaligned. Interesting. There we are. And in these other spots over here. Like one of the things that I'll do regularly. It sounds like I'm being summoned. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and change my distance a little bit. Man, it does not want to project. It doesn't want to take those points. Take those points. All right, that's better. Okay, let's do this. I am going to say Control D. I'm going to just give it a couple subdivisions and let's see if it gets me anything worth worth looking at very least it's going it's doing something <laughs> just has to think there's a lot that it has to go through and do oh not just color I wanted it to do geometry too dang it turn on geometry and then project all <laughs> <laughs> 